Now to Cracking the Code Nutrition Edition. This morning we're taking a look at the popular apple cider vinegar trend. Mara Schiavo-Compo here to break it all down. Hey, Mara. Hey, George. Good morning. This is a really popular trend. A lot of people drinking vinegar, yes, vinegar, for an added health boost, leaving it in help with everything from blood pressure to weight loss. But will this apple a day really keep the doctor away? Cindy Lai is a surf instructor and a private trainer. Not to mention an avid fan of apple cider vinegar. She drinks a tablespoon daily and uses it to strip her hair of salt and sweat after surfing. It's something to get my metabolism going in the morning, but it also makes me feel good and, you know, in place of coffee. Apple cider vinegar, which is basically fermented apple juice, has a long history as a home remedy and has recently had a rebirth with enthusiasts using it for everything from acid reflux to lowering blood pressure. It's got so many diverse uses. Some believe the fiber-rich pectin from the vinegar's apple base helps with weight loss by making you feel fuller. Others say it has healing compounds like potassium and probiotics. But is it really helpful? There are so many claims, but at the end of the day, it's not a magical elixir. Nutritionist Kelly Hogan says most of these vinegar claims have never been studied, although there is limited evidence that apple cider vinegar could improve glucose control and diabetes. But people who drink it need to be careful. The downsides to apple cider vinegar are it's, it's really acidic, especially if you consume it in its concentrated form. Large doses can interfere with medication absorption or cause low potassium levels, but in smaller amounts, it is considered pretty safe. Cindy often puts it in a smoothie. I don't taste it when I make my smoothie. When I don't have time to make my smoothie, I just put it in regular water. It's just something you get used to, because when you dilute it in water, it's a little, little sour, but not a big deal. Although, it depends on who you're asking. It's an acquired taste, not for everyone. Just take, just, one just take it Get like it a shot, right? right? <laughs> well, again, you know, this isn't a cure-all for everything, but in small doses, apple cider vinegar hasn't been proven to do much harm. So if you're looking to get those pro probiotic health benefits, but you aren't too keen on the taste, like the girl that we just saw in the piece, there are so many other ways that you can get it in. You can put it in soups. You can put it in salad dressings, marinades. You can even make like a little tea like we have here. So you just take a spoon, put a spoonful in here, a little bit of lemon, a little bit of honey, hot water. It's just a nice, fresh, crisp way to start your day. A lot of good advice there, Mark. Thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.